In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called rationalizing a denominator using conjugates, integer, numerator. To rationalize the denominator, we want to get rid of the square root. And to do so, we're going to use what we know about the difference of two squares. And the difference of two squares says that if we have two perfect squares being subtracted, that's the same as the first one without the square minus the second one without the square times the first one plus the second one without the squares. So working backwards, that means that if I had the right hand side here, a minus b times a plus b, it would be equivalent to a squared minus b squared. And in our denominator, we have four, which is our a here, and two square roots of two, which is our b, what I would like to do is multiply this denominator, four minus two square roots of two, by the conjugate four plus two square roots of two. And since this is a fraction, I can multiply the denominator by that as long as I also multiply the top by the same expression. So multiplying the top and bottom both by four plus two square roots of two is like multiplying by one, so I'm not actually changing the fraction. However, in the denominator, this four minus two square roots of two times four plus two square roots of two. When I multiply, I will get the first term squared, so that's going to be four squared, minus the second term squared. So that's minus here two square roots of two squared. I'll just bring the numerator over for now. Nine times four plus two square roots of two. And the denominator here will then simplify. Four squared is 16. We have a minus. And then for the second part, we have two square roots of two squared. So I have to square everything inside that parentheses. So first squaring the two outside of the square root would give me four and then squaring the square root is actually going to cancel out. So the square root of two squared is going to give us just two. Again, bringing over the numerator, nine times four plus two square roots of two. The denominator here simplifies to being 16 minus eight. So 16 minus eight is just eight. So we have rationalized the fraction. We've gotten rid of the square root and the denominator. In the numerator, I do have multiplication here that I can do. 9 times 4 would be 36. 9 times 2 square roots of 2 would be 18 square roots of 2. But the instructions also say that we need to simplify. And to simplify here, we can cancel terms in the numerator and the denominator. But since I have addition in the numerator, I'm going to need to factor out anything in order to cancel it with that eight in the bottom. And since those both have a 36 and an 18, they have a common factor of two that I can factor out. So taking out a two would leave me with, from the 36, an 18. And from the 18 square roots of two, that would now become nine square roots of two. And since I was able to factor out a two and I have an eight in the denominator, I can now cancel. Both the two and the eight are divisible by two. So this would simplify two goes into two once, two goes into eight four times. So having done that simplification, we're left with 18 plus nine square roots of two over four we have rationalized and simplified this expression.